Hey there. Thanks so much for downloading my um, art history final for Win Art with Science. Um, and right now I'm gonna show you how to fold your puzzle purse. So if you've printed it out from your printer according to the directions in the PDF, you should have one image here and one image here. And they're gonna like, if you shine them up against a light, like almost perfectly line up back to front. Not quite, but, but almost. Um, and then what you're gonna do next is that you're gonna take a pair of scissors or an X-Acto knife and you're gonna cut out the shape right on the outside of the darkest lines. It's gonna be a little tricky here, which is why I like using an X-Acto knife, but I'll use scissors in a, you know, commiseration for those of you who may not have an X-Acto knife. So you wanna be as careful as you can. Use the straight edge of your blade to help keep your cut nice and straight. So you can see here, I'm cutting just a little bit on the outside of that line. This is about a 16th of an inch. You just wanna have a little bit of a space between where the paper ends and where the line ends. Okay, so the first step, and this is why it's important to use these instructions, is that you wanna make sure that you're starting with the right side up. So you're gonna start with this side up. It has the illuminated eye and our title cards and um, our multiple illustrations in the corners. So the first step, you're gonna take your top right corner, you're gonna fold it down to your bottom left corner, and you wanna take a minute here to really line up your corner edges, and then crease that fold. And hopefully that should go right into those corners. And then I like to just use my thumbnail to sort of like extra fold that down nice and sharp. Okay, so that's step one. Then you're going to open it back up, and then you're gonna do the opposite. So if you wanna turn your paper, you can do that. If you just want to fold it where I lay, you can do that as well. So line up those two corners, crease it with your pad of your thumb, and then with the nail of your thumb. Okay, and you're going to open it back up to where you started. So the next step is we're actually going to be folding in thirds, sort of along where the design is also in thirds. Um, so to do that, I'm going to take the right side, I'm going to fold it so that it sits just about halfway between those two lines, right? It's a little bit of a guessing game and it's okay if it's not perfect. You want to be as close as you can. Again, it's about 16th of an inch. For those of you who know what a 16th of an inch looks like, just me. Okay, so once I have this first line, that's really helpful because for the second one, I'm actually gonna line the side of the paper up with that fold I just made. Open it back up, pivot it 90 degrees, same thing. So now we've got diagonal creases and horizontal and vertical creases. Now I'm gonna flip it over to this side because I wanna put in a crease that goes in the opposite sort of direction. So I'm gonna take the top right corner and I'm gonna fold it down so that it lines up with where my vertical third fold and my horizontal third fold come together. Okay, like that. Don't crease the whole thing. Draw your finger up that diagonal crease line, and just right from that center point, you're gonna crease up to the edge of the paper. So this half will be folded, and this half will not be folded. Open it back up, turn it 90 degrees counterclockwise, repeat, right? So top right corner, come down into where those creases line up. Draw your finger up along that diagonal, push it to the edge of the fabric. Fabric, paper, I'm a textile artist, so I'm just moonlighting here the art history sector, okay? If you watch the Martha Stewart video, they're like, it should automatically fold into the thing you want it to, and that there, that is a lie. Here's how I sort of like to wrangle this. I kind of start to like bring my corner pieces together. So corner piece, corner piece, corner piece, corner piece. The more you can get that to sort of like do it all at once, the better. And then it's a little bit of a like twisty, foldy, takes a little bit of practice, takes a little bit of finagling, tuck it in there. Oh, look at that. Once you've got everything tucked, go ahead and recrease it where it wants to lay. It may shift around just a little bit. Okay, so this is the back. I'm gonna flip it over. Now we've got our, our good old Deleuze quote here. Take the bottom one, fold it right along this bottom edge, fold it up, crease. Next one towards the tip, right? crease. And then on our last one, I like to give it a crease first, 
But then the trick here is that you can tuck it in and under. Sort of, maybe. It, the first couple of times, there we go. First couple of times are a little stiff, but it gets a little easier. Crease along that side. And you're done. Here's your puzzle purse. Here's the front. Here's the back. To open it again, you can just open all of these tabs, flip it to the back. I like to grab opposite edges, pull open and away. And you can now experience your puzzle purse as it was meant to be experienced. Enjoy.